Well, California is dealing with a drug crisis. The State Department of Justice says nearly 12,000 people died from overdoses last year. And the California Health Department says in San Francisco alone, there were close to 400 fentanyl-related 400 fentanyl deaths in 2021. That is a 99% increase over 2019. And joining us to discuss this is Dr. Keith Humphreys, Professor of Psychiatry and Behavioral Sciences at Stanford University. So thank you very much, uh, doctor, for joining us. We, we know fentanyl is an extremely potent opioid, but what exactly is it and what makes it so deadly? So fentanyl is a synthetic opioid, meaning it can be made up in a lab, and it is extremely efficient at crossing into our brain shortly after it's taken. So the effect is fast and it is strong, and that makes it extremely addictive, even relative to drugs like heroin. It's substantially more addictive than that. The other important point about it is that it slows down breathing, and that is why so many people are dying of overdose. Their, uh, their brains and their body are deprived of oxygen due to the effect of fentanyl. And does it have any actual medical properties, or do they use it for anything legitimate? Absolutely. I mean, if it's given in extremely small doses by a, a professional anesthesiologist, for example, it's extremely useful in surgery. And if you've had surgery, you've probably benefited from fentanyl. The problem is out on the street, it's, it's of course not given out by trained people, and it's also given out in wildly uh, different sized doses, and uh, that's enough to be fatal. And, and you kind of touched on this already, but what are the impacts does it have directly on the body? So, you know, you, you have euphoria, which is why people take mm -hmm. it, you know, because that's the addictive effect, but then the slowing down of sort of basic biological functions like digestion and breathing. And wh when that happens, you know, our body doesn't have enough oxygen, and that's why people pass out. Sometimes they, they pass out and they, they don't uh, suffer any damage, but frequently what happens is the deprivation of oxygen is, is long enough that they either suffer, you know, a certain amount of brain and organ damage, or in the worst cases, uh, they die. And, and so what are the signs of an overdose? When should we seek medical help if you see someone on the streets or uh, can, can you use Narcan on this also? Yeah, so sometimes you can tell just by the context, you know, the person might have a needle there or the foil or, or there's pills around and you can figure out what's happened. But otherwise, it looks like someone who is extremely deeply asleep. They, they may be breathing not at all or very slowly or in a raspy way. Their skin might be cold. Their lips can be turning blue. Sometimes you can wake people up just by, you know, patting their face, saying their name loudly, shaking them. Uh, but uh, frequently that doesn't work. And so what is used is naloxone or also called Narcan which uh, will push that opioid out of the, the receptor in the brain where it's binding. And when that happens, then the effects of the drug are reversed. And usually the person will then come back and, and start breathing again and their life is saved. All right. Well, always good information. I know this is a tough subject to talk about. So, Dr. Keith Humphreys, thank you very much for your time. Thank you.